Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And this is my end of the month haul. These are things that arrived at my home in uh, June, but uh, I didn't necessarily order them in June because some things take quite a while to get here. So I've ended up with quite a large haul. It's almost embarrassing how large it is, but oh well. <laughs> um, so grab yourself something to eat or drink and put your feet up or get out your coloring books, whatever else, diamond paintings, whatever you like to do while you watch a long video. And let's get to it right away. So first off, I'm going to show you something that you all probably already know that I hauled this month. I have a video up about them and I'm not going to say anything else about them at the moment because there's things going on and uh, yeah, you can, you can uh, read my, uh, not read my, watch my video. So I will be returning these, uh, well I am returning them, I've just saved them to include in this, in this haul. Uh, and then this stuff is in no particular order. There's supplies, there's books, there's supplies, there's books, whatever. I didn't get many supplies this month, though I don't think. So, um, I bought myself a set of, uh, Crayola pencils. Uh, I don't know why, uh, the feeling just kind of hit me. Uh, everybody out there seems to have, every, every colorist seems to have them and they say they're not as bad as you would think they were so since I'm really getting into pencils now I uh, thought I would try and see what they're like. One thing I'm really interested in is how they compare to Prismacolor's Scholar Choice which are also um, pencils for kids, students um, and I may, I may look into doing that but uh, yeah for the meantime we got ourselves some Crayola pencils. We only have the 100 set available here in Canada, not the 120. Uh, then the next thing I got was this gray uh, pencil case. It is a uh, 120. It holds 120. Um, we don't have all the fancy ones available. We just pretty much have a straight set of colors. And I've never wanted to get gray because it sounded boring, but it was the only color that I didn't have besides black, and I don't want to get a black one. Uh, I was really surprised how much I liked it when it came. It's, it's, it's nice looking. And I didn't just buy a pencil case for the sake of having a pencil case. I did buy some pencils. We'll open up the front one here. I bought the 120 set of Arteza Expert pencils and I have used them <laughs> a lot this month so I'm starting to have short ones. A um, couple of things, I really like them. They're really nice. They're, uh, they're soft core. They blend nice. They're you know, they're all you could ask from a pencil if you don't have Prismas. Uh, well, I have Prismas, but there's no reason not to use uh, these. If you like Prismas, then these are a good one to buy. So you have always, you, you can never say something is like a Prisma, because if you think of a mountain, then Prismas are sitting up on the top, and as you slide down the mountain, there is a little landing halfway up the, up the mountain, and that's where all the similar to Prismas go. So you see there's a big difference between the ones that are similar and the actual Prismas. Um, two things that I don't that I don't like about these is I've only had these for like three weeks and the names and the numbers are rubbing off already. And now I am slowly as I pick pencils out I'm going over that with clear nail polish to help solve the problem, but it is too late because I don't have anything 100% rubbed off, but they've got a good, <laughs> they're rubbed off pretty good. Um, and the second thing is, is that they sure do sharpen, fat, get low fast. They take a, quite a bit of sharpening, and um, even though 
I have a uh, pencil sharpener which uh, sharpens uh, sharpens the wood first and then the lead so sometimes I only need to do the lead because the wood is still quite down down quite far so it does save uh, it does make your pencil last just that teeny bit longer but yeah I found I've got uh, that they're getting short fast let's just open up one other one and see because you can see in here there's one two three four there's five none of those and oh yeah, I mean look at my greens. I've got one, two, three, four. This one's really small. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, you're gonna go through these. Like I I was kind of a little bit dismayed, you know, at thinking how fast I might go through them, but they are a good pencil. I'm really pleased I bought them. And then I bought myself a set of uh, 36 fine Bic Intensities. The price went uh, way down to what I expect to pay for these. They've been really high uh, during COVID. Excuse me while I take a drink. Um, I'll excuse myself for the future times that I take a sip as well. Um, so yeah, they went back down to their normal price, so I, uh, I grabbed a set because, you know, I always have these in, in, uh, in my backup, in my backups. So now I just have to wait for the ultra fines to get back down to their regular price because <laughs> I'm running out of those. I, I desperately need some colors. All right, I don't know why I put this here, but I guess there's no reason not. I got uh, two freebies from Rita Berman this month. So if you haven't already, uh, rush over to her her website, I believe it is. Uh, it's not on the bottom of this, but just type in Rita Berman website and it'll pop up. These are two summer pictures, and I'm looking forward to coloring those. Okay, some more books. So this is Color by Number by the Sea by George Tefexis. This actually came out, I believe, last month, and I pre-ordered it. But Dover is really bad at supplying Amazon with stock. So any Dover book, and I've pre-ordered three of them that this has happened to, is that you don't you pre-order it, you get the pre-order price, but you get it weeks after it came out so yeah this is I, I'm sure you've seen it on other people's channels so far it's it seems so thick like there seems to be something different about this it's got 46 pages in it and you know I don't think they've increased the thickness of the paper it just feels thick for some reason um my Coloring Heaven issue arrived. Uh, the Dragon Special. I'm not 100% sure what I think of it. I've uh, never colored a dragon in my life. Uh, it's not something I would pick up, but one of the things I like about this magazine is that it challenges me. So every month or the month after I receive it, I try to color at least one picture out of them so that I'm expanding my horizons. So I will definitely color in this and I gotta say some of them are cute. Uh, there's some cartoony stuff and those are those are the ones that I like the best and oh that's cute. But um, yeah so it's it's something different there for me. Uh, Color Questopia came out with some new books and um, I was, they're, they're just all over the pile so we'll see them as they come. Uh, so this is beach coloring book and it's full of beach scenes. Oh man, I love that one. I haven't taken a proper look through this yet. Oh wow. You know, they've really upped their game. The books that are coming out now are much more intricate than their beginning ones, except for animals. <laughs> That's one, I think that was probably their, well not their first, because their first wasn't a mosaic, but uh, yeah. 
Uh, Tabitha Barnett came out with a new book this month, To the Moon and Back, and a celestial coloring book, and this has some amazing pictures in it, and I've seen people do these, and oh wow. Yeah, there's this double spread one, and not too often you get a double spread in an Amazon printed page. So this does the, uh, oh, no, that's, that's cute. So usually you have two blank pages when you're going to get a, when you're going to get a uh, double spread in a single-sided book. And that's really cute that she's put the uh, quote there. So you don't have a blank page. So there's all sorts of things in here, different ones. Um, you know, pictures of the sun and the moon. And there's mandalas and um, tangles. All sorts of things in here. It's a really... It's a really nice book, and of course she has some black, black paper versions at the back. Now she does not, she does not um, give you two copies of every page. She, her book will be with this. This is her book, the white pages, and then at the back she gives you some of the pages in uh, black. So here it says thirty. 30 images of suns, moons, stars. Some are repeated on black backgrounds for a total of 50 pages. So there's 20 black background ones and 30 original pages. Now this next book I, I bought because it was $3. <laughs> Not very often we see $3 books on uh, Amazon Canada. So uh, I picked it up. It's It's a really popular book. It's got like thousands and of reviews and stuff like this. So I've bought, I've had others of their books. Um, I have the, I have the uh, color by number books by them. So this one features the art of Anna Davis and it's all sea related pictures. Um, some in here I don't like, but I'm really surprised at how much I do like the book because, you know, I wasn't really expecting too much, but yeah, there's a lot of things in here that, um, pages that I do like and will definitely color, certainly worth $2. Um, Vivid Publishing came out with a new book this month. Uh, see, I've been up on the new books <laughs> this month. Um, I do not have any Vivid Publishers books. And uh, I think it was last month I saw that they had that they had um, this one, Gods and Goddesses, coming out uh, this month. So I've held off buying any of their books to check them out because this is a topic that I like. I'm, I'm into mythology and, uh, you know, folklore and all that kind of stuff it all falls under the same heap for me. So I knew that if uh, that this would definitely let me know if I like his um, his artwork. Um, Chintaka Harath is is calls himself Vivid Publishers. So <clears throat> all the books published by them are his, and these are great. I love them. And this is kind of funny. Um, I ordered this in March, and I received it this month. I actually, I ordered it at the end of February, so it was, it was before COVID and they had plenty of time to get it out to me and for it to go through the mail system, but this uh, came from Japan and these are two white uh, Sakura, de Sakura Decarez pens and this is my uh, swear by white pen at the moment. I've been, uh, I've been only using this and I knew I was, it was going to run out one of these days and so I got myself two more of them so I would be secure in having that. And a new color by number uh, book came out on the newsstands this month and it is Relax and Color, 31 Inspiring Designs. Adorable animals, beautiful blooms, amazing places, and more. And it is by the same people who do the mystery colors books. So we have, like, these are these are normal color by numbers. There's a picture to color in with a key on the bottom. Let's see if it gives us our key here. 
yes the uh, mystery colors have a key here um, they have expanded it now on this one by giving them names as well I hope our next issue of mystery colors does this hopefully that's a new thing they're bringing in so yeah it's by the same people you get a fun fact on here uh, hmm. it, the fun fact is about the opposite picture though usually he uh, yeah in the mystery colors magazines the fun fact is about the picture on this side so of course it doesn't spoil the mystery and then does this yeah this has finished pictures at the back too so a quick look at that and if this starts coming out quarterly i will be picking this up oh, i'm gonna move my pins over there and then the other one that I picked up for three bucks was the In the Forest. So the whole names of these are Simple, one, two, three. And then I have In the Forest, and the other one was In the Ocean. And then it's Color and Frame. Now this one features the art of somebody different. It features the art of Stacy Peterson. And I think I like this one more than I like the... Isn't that adorable? I love that. And then I like the uh, Ocean one. The, oh, I love that. Yeah, there's a lot more in here I like. Insects, I love coloring insects. And I do believe they give you some color palettes, yeah. On the back page here, they give you a color pa palette inspiration. Was it on the inside front cover, too? Yeah, they do there as well. So, that's uh, no finished pages. So, yeah, I'm... I'm pleased to get those two books for three bucks each. Okay, now I went and stopped by Book Outlet this month. And it is a place which hasn't had any... Oops, sorry. My box isn't quite fitting in here. Book Closeouts has not had any new... Uh, coloring books come in in a long time, except for more copies of what they usually have. They usually have some Joanna Bassford. They usually have some, uh, <laughs> oh, my mind just suddenly went blank. They usually have some, uh, oh, man, <laughs> it just went blanker. Let me look. Mythomorphia guy. No, not Mythomorphia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the new ones are called Mythographic. Okay, Kirby Rosanna's. <laughs> Forget my mumbling there. They usually have some of his, and they usually have a few of Deborah Muller's. So this time when I went and had a look, they had a ton of Deborah Muller's. So I went on a Deborah Muller buying spree and picked up every book they had by her that I did not have that wasn't a dog book because I'm not interested in the dog ones. Those are the only ones by her that I'm not buying. So this is pretty much all Deborah Muller's, plus I picked up a couple of other books, and actually that's what I'm going to show you first. So the first book I have here is Sacred Angels by Lydia Hess. Her books are out of print and really expensive at uh, the secondhand prices. Now, I did get on um, Book Outlet the one called Sacred Animals, and I love it. It is one of my most favorite coloring books as, as an art book that I just love the art. I don't care if I color all the pictures in there. I have colored in it, um, but it's just so beautiful that I, I want more of her art, and I was just like practically <laughs> you know, pushing that button to add to my cart so hard I almost broke my mouse when I saw this. It was like, yes, hurry! <laughs> and they had lots of copies when I purchased it, so they should still have some available. And I mean, I love angels. I'm a Christian, so angels is just like a wonderful topic for me. And her art is just so beautiful. And it's not just Christian angels in here. Like, this is Psyche. And Cupid, the Greek mythology. Um, this is called Mercy, and it has some angel wings in it. So you know, there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. That's uh, a Christian angel. 
isn't that, isn't it just stunning? I think so. Anyways, so really, really pleased to get this. Um, she has, I don't think it lists any of her other books, no. Um, I think she maybe has three or four, so there's one or two more that I don't have of hers that I would pick up if I found them at a reasonable price. Okay, so it looks like we got Deborah Muller here. So I got Rainbow Unicorns. These are adorable. I got... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Let me that back. I got my box fits just beside my my uh, tripod. I got lovable llamas, and I love this one. <laughs> I like llamas. Like, I don't care if there's a dog in the picture. I just don't want a book full of dogs because I'm not into dogs. Oh, I am. What happened? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thought I lost you, but I didn't. You're still there. I just, sorry about this. I gotta be more careful. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm uh, <laughs> making a mess of things here. Now, I got this. I was not going to get her Christian books, even though I am a Christian, because I don't like words on my page. But I've seen so many people in the uh, Deborah Muller book, uh, Deborah Muller book, in the Deborah Muller group um, from people who have colored these. And the, yes, the pictures have words in them, they're, they're uh, scripture, but they also have pictures in them. And I, I just thought they were beautiful. So, um, yeah, I picked up this. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was by... Yeah, it's by the same publisher as the as the uh, Zen Doodle books, and I didn't I didn't realize that it's by Saint Martin's Griffin, um, and the Zen Doodle books are by Saint Martin's, and then a subdivision called Castle Point, and then the series Zen Doodle, but they all have the parent company of Saint Martin's. So. It is the exact same, sorry, it is the exact same dimensions as one. And as I was looking inside, I, I saw the pages were the same with the, um, the perforation in them. So some of them have like lovely pictures like that and like this. I mean, some of them are mostly picture and it's there. Yeah, and like, these ones I like. It's the ones that have the words that you color in that I'm really not particular too. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy coloring the, that. So that one's called Psalms of Peace and Hope. Then I got Magical Mermaid Kitties, and this was a scratch and dent purchase. So the front cover is has, uh, has a couple of creases and a ding in it there. But other than that, that's it. And these are just adorable. I love this. So I've actually been to Book Outlet's uh, store because uh, they are based here in Canada and they have a section for all their scratch and dents in the store and they don't put anything up there that's in really bad condition. I have received a book sometimes that was in bad condition, but it had a sticker on it saying this was the last copy of the book and the the uh, condition does not suit our requirements. If if you're unhappy with this book, please call or email or whatever. It says something like that. So they're sending it to you, but you've got the option to send it back. <laughs> That's not a scratch and dent. That's a different yeah and then I got funky monkeys and I'm really glad to have this one because these are adorable well, it's got all sorts it's got apes in here too I really like the monkeys they're really cute 
Huh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Love that. Uh, and then I picked up two other books. I got this one, Mermaids in Wonderland. I do have Elves in Wonderland, and I really like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about this book is that it has, has writing on the pages, but um, not all of them. Of course, yeah, they're having, yeah. It's a little bit Zen doodly, but uh, not overly. I think it's a bit more Zen doodly than the Elves one. But yes, I've come... It's taken me a while to get here, but I am now at the point where I realize I do not have to color in every little one of these on her sleeve. I can just color the whole sleeve one color, and that's the black and white, that's the black lined pattern on the material. So yeah, I like this. I like his style of art. It's not as nice as the elves one, but it is still acceptable. And then I thought this one sounded really cool, and I did a flip of it on... I mean, I didn't do a flip. I uh, I found a flip on Amazon for it. It's called Vertical Worlds Coloring Book. And first of all, it is much taller than a standard book. And it's a little bit thinner than a standard book as well. But it's, it's quite tall. I wouldn't be surprised if that was 12 inches. And it's got buildings from the ground up. Well, this is a submarine, but uh, yeah, here's a tree house. It's like a vertical tree house. And there's a little right up here on this side, uh, a vertical factory. These would be a lot of fun to color. A vertical bazaar. Vertical natri natural history museum. There's all sorts of interesting buildings. Or places where people live, I guess we could say. So yeah, I was really happy with that. And that's my haul. That's my haul from a book outlet this month. Now, um, I'm just going to pick the other ones up here. So just give me a minute. A few seconds, I should say. Another box that I'm going to have to be careful about. And let's up this stuff. Oh. There we go. Okay. So I have a, another cup, copy of Coloring Heaven because at the beginning of the month I received the Fairies issue by Jana Prosperina. And this is gorgeous. I, there's not a picture in here that I wouldn't color. So I haven't gotten a chance to color in it yet, but, uh, yeah, this is a book that I'll color a lot in. And it's gorgeous. So I got this at the beginning of the month, and then June's issue at uh, the end of the month. I also picked up Jade Summer's Intricate Flowers, and this one was enabled by Miss Anne. Because I had told myself, I don't need any more flower books because I, if I want to color flowers, I've got tons of flower books and I can just go and color Joanna Basford if I need to color flowers so badly. And then Anne goes and does a video and convinces me that they're mandalas. So now I have to say, well, I have to have the mandala book. <laughs> yes, look at them. They are. See? It's a pattern that goes around. All of them are. Even if they're... Where, where's that kind? Yeah, even if it's like this, it starts... That's a mandala, folks. I have to have Jade Summer's mandala books. So, yes, I got it. And I'm, I'm not sorry. Now, this next one is a bit of a... A bit of a... Um, interesting book. It's a... Uh, this was a proper publisher. It's not a. It's not an Amazon book. It's printed in uh, England by um, Arcturus. Uh, they have both. Not sure if they have American editions and and 
British editions. Yeah, mine's a, mine's a British edition. It's just that they've spelt color the American way, so... I don't know. But anyways, um, this has some really cool mystery pictures. You can tell what they are because it's intended for children. But I just think it's adorable. The only problem with this is the paper. Well, first of all, it's double-sided, so that makes the paper a problem. It's, it's thick, like it's nice paper and stuff, but once I started trying to uh, color on it, I can't use alcohol markers, and I can't use any marker that will bleed through, so I can't use really juicy ones. Of course, the first thing I did was grab my super tips because I use, you know, those are the go-to for working in color by number books if you're not using alcohol inks. And they, the um, ink in them, like, pooled on the page. So it was, kind of, uh, you know, almost as if the page had, had that... Uh, fabric repel repellent stuff on it and you and you pour liquid on it it pools yeah so i'll talk more about that when i do my finished pages because i do have one so i'm gonna leave that out and then i had to and then it looks like everybody else in the coloring community had to <laughs> get the sarah k edition. Now, I do have to say that um, I was more into Holly Hobby and the uh, the whole little collection there from Hallmark than I was into Sarah Kay's figures, but we did have some of these up in our house when I was a kid, so they are nostalgic to me, and I love that one. I really love that one. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to coloring in this. Wow, I haven't taken a real good look at this either. Yeah, there's some nice pictures in there. Nice book. And um, Camellia Angel Kova came out with a new book, so of course I was there. <laughs> and I... Uh, it's got black pages. Now these are on the fronts instead of the back, but a book that has black ink on the front and is 50 pages is still going to curl a bit. That's the problem, but it's not, it's not as bad as if the uh, ink was on the back because there's, there's even distribu distribution of weight on the front of the page. It's uh you know, it spreads out. It's just partly inked, and, and then this part. As you see, she does not blacken the back of her pages. So yeah, this is just gorgeous. 50 unique mandalas, and um, none of the mandalas in here are repeats from any of her other mandala books. I did talk to her and um, said that the black backgrounds were awesome, and uh, would she... Uh, would she consider uh, making black background copies of her previous books? And she told me that um, due to te te technical reasons, she wouldn't be able to provide black-backed copies of already published books. But going forward, it was definitely a great idea that she was going to consider. So um, if you'd like that, let her know because the more people who tell her that they would like black backed copies she could do she could do two copies you know the normal white paged book and a night edition like lots of people do that would be great i would be tempted to buy both of them and this was on my wish list it's a dover coloring book and um the dover coloring books are five and a quarter canadian and every now and then I go through my wish list and look at the books to see if anything is going down in price. And then I move it over to my um, save for later section so I can watch it during the month. And this went down to, um, is it $3 or did, was it actually $2.99? It was either just over two three dollars, like something like three sixteen, or it actually was two ninety nine. So 
it was on my wish list and I definitely want it. So um, at that price I had to get it. Great Scenes from Horror Stories by John Green. It's like any Dover coloring book where both sides of the page. So um, these are basically um, gothic Victorian horror stories and as I look through it um, I see that I've read most of them so it will be fun to uh, color these pages. And that's uh, one thing that I read a lot of too is um, gothic literature. And then I was the happy recipient of of Happy Mail and I'm all positive she sent me three books. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe she did send two. For some reason I thought there was a third one. Um, if there's a third one, I'll tell you when I get it. But but maybe not. I, I could be thinking of something else. So anyways, this was Happy Mail that showed up in my mailbox. And the uh, person who sent it wants to re... Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, it was Happy Mail. Now I'm just trying to think if this was... No. That was last month. This is what I got from my trade partner. And there is another thing. Oh, oh, oh. So, yes, this is from my trade partner. It was our... Yes, that's right. Because she sends at the end of the month. So I get it in the month. Okay. Oh, I need to have a drink. It's just Coke. <laughs> Sorry, Pepsi. So, yes, this is from my trading partner, and we are now finished our um, trading session. It lasted six months, and my sister is now able to get back into the game. So, from uh, this month, uh, from July forward, I'll be trading with my sister. So, anyways, back to the book. <laughs> this is called The Magical City, and it is an awesome book of houses that are in just, you know, weird houses that are all topsy-turvy or that are just different. Here's hanging lantern houses, you know, there's houses where the perspective is off and it obviously got its theme from the uh, Lizzie Mary Cullen book, Magical City, but um, I love this. And it's going to be a ton of fun to color. I found out this year that I enjoy coloring, that I enjoy coloring buildings. And then here, I think that one was a Julia River book. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was Link Coloring. <laughs> this one is a Julia River book illustrated by Ronnie C. Pios. And it's Cat Doodle's Cuteness Overload. And quite a few people have this one, and it's just absolutely adorable. I mean, I can just imagine coloring this in my Tombos and doing each cat a different color. Oh, yes, that'd be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to color some, something in here. That's going to be so much fun. Um, so, Sa Such and Such Deva had a new book as well. I can't remember <coughs> if this came out in June or it was in um, May and I put it in my cart in June. But this is Dollhouse, Color by Number. He does have another book called Dollhouse, which is not Color by Number, and it is the same book. So don't buy them twice if that's not what you want, if you don't want the book twice. <laughs> These are quite intricate. It's like his spring season book. That he, you put a lot of time into doing one of these, and they are tons of fun. And these pictures are just absolutely adorable. It's a little doll in her house going about her activities. She even does her laundry. How sweet is that? Uh, here's another new color, Questopia, Cactus and Succulents. Oh, those are the... The only thing I'm starting to question here is that we are getting a huge selection of 
of uh, pictures from other books and I don't think the books are getting any fatter so does that mean we're losing out on original pictures not sure but again you can see that they have upped their game these pictures are fantastic and they are going to take quite some time with the detail so I I had a book that was um, succulents before and I uh, I passed it on to someone because I just did not know how to color succulents but here it's all done for me and I can enjoy it okay now the, uh, I'm not gonna show this one yet Jade Summer has a new grayscale out and it is the art it is a grayscale version of Art Nouveau I do have the line art and I did color a picture out of it and I absolutely had one of the worst times of my life <laughs> coloring that picture <laughs> but when I saw the grayscale version of this I thought you know what this is going to make it so much easier for me to color one of these pictures so hopefully that is true so these are very detailed uh oh do I have a problem that one is that page is crooked Nope, didn't happen anywhere else. Just that, just that one page. The whole picture's there. It, okay, it doesn't go into the crease. This little black line does. Nah, I'm, I'm not worried about that. So yeah, I'm, I'm at the point now where I order so many books from Amazon that if it doesn't suit, if it doesn't suit me, I return it. It's no big deal. You just, uh, half of the time they tell you to keep it and don't worry about it here's your refund and the other half of the time you just push the button refund why it didn't suit it didn't suit you and then they push another button and you print out the postage page return thing grab an amazon envelope that you that i keep hanging around the house and off it goes to the mail don't even have to stand in line because you can just go to the front and plop it in the in the slot or put it on the counter and say postage paid and on your way now deborah muller this is not her newest book because she just came out with her summertime book which uh i believe i have or oh i'm ordering it uh, yes well I'll be I, I will be ordering it in a few days so before that one was this one and it's magical mermaids myth legends and lore and this is quite interesting because they are they are mermaids but well I don't know what about the butt it's just different than our other <laughs> mermaid books so yeah I don't know how she can print so many mermaid books and yet they're all so different. Don't know how she does it. And then I got this book. It is a simple large print coloring book. It is by Dylana Press and it's called Country Garden Adult Coloring Book. And oh no, this isn't a simple one. Sorry about that. It just has well, I guess it's got all sorts of different pictures in here of gardens. Yeah, you know what? This is probably stock images, but um, I have browsed through this and I like pretty much everything that's in here, so I don't mind. Usually I'm not happy if I get a book that's stock images. Let me see that picture there for a minute. Okay. <laughs> I thought it looked familiar to something I was coloring in a color custodia book, but it's not. Yeah, so I, I like all the pictures in here. It's nice. Uh, garden pictures. And some of them are fanciful, and some of them are realistic. Okay, then... Oh, just a minute. Let me see. I'm trying to... I've got a few books here that are this, kind of the same, and I want to 
want to show them to you together at the same time. Okay, then I got this color by number book, which I just had to pick up, even though I know it's unlicensed. It is a color by number book, and it is Mario and Sonic and Pokemon. And look and see what kind of book it is. It's graphs. They are graphs pictures. Of course, they spoil it by telling you what it is at the top. So that kind of takes away a little bit of the fun. But uh, at least if I don't know who they are. Oh, there's Mega Man in here too. So yeah. Um, oh, Link. There's Zelda. Oh, that's cool. Mario. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I love those kind of books. I don't know. I'm a kid at heart. And I ordered a book from Olga Golovashkina. This is her small sketchbook number one. I believe she has two, possibly three of these. And I was just absolutely blown away when I received this. <laughs> this is the small size of a book. I guess they call it um, travel size <laughs> when other people publish this size of a book. It is very thick. Look at that. Look how thick this book is. It's, it's like a paperback novel, the, the size of it. And it is just filled with sketches of hers. And her pictures are just so... Now, I don't want to say whimsical, even though a few of them probably could be. But they're just cartoony and odd. Like this, it's called The Tale of the Witch and the Elk. And here we have the witch. And she's got a animal skull on her head with flowers coming out of it. And behind her is a moose with a really long body. Kind of like a, um, uh, a sausage dog. And here is a moose with, that is in a fish. Has a fish tail wings, and a tree growing out of its head. It's odd. It is. It's odd, and I adore it. So here's our witch and the moose, and this appears to be a flying saucer. <laughs> oh, here's mushrooms growing out of a castle window with a moose on top of them, and he's got a tree growing out of his head again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love this. I can't wait to start coloring in that. That is adorable. Whoops, sorry. And another recent book by the uh, Sach Davis. This time it's by Prachi, and she is the wife of, of um, Sachin. And this time it's Color by Number Mosaics, Cute Little Bugs. And here we have hexagons, and they are actually my most favorite uh, shape to color. And I think this is just adorable how she's put the color palette together with the fitted them together with the tiles and telling you what color is it. And I believe what, brown, red, brown, light brown, brown. Yeah. Okay, so it's same throughout the book, but it's not same throughout all the books. I don't believe I'm wondering though if they if they have come up with a standardized palette. Mm, I'll have to pay attention to that. So there are 25 full page pictures of bugs made up from what they call honeycombs. Okay, so maybe now I can do this now. Okay, so the next thing is is I have Color Questopia's mandala books here. And I'm returning them because the mandalas are mo mosaic and I really don't want to do that. It would take so much time to, to do this and I don't like filling in the lines on the mosaics. I would rather they be black to begin with. I do like that they're numbered and I'm sure lots of people will like these. I'm not dissing the the books. They're perfectly fine. The mandalas are beautiful. And um, if 
mosaic mandala is, is your thing, or it could be your thing, then go right ahead. It's not, it's not for me. So um, there's three books. They're pretty much all the same. I think in one book they're a little bit more um, intricate than in the others. But uh, yeah, there you go. If you if you care to know about those, but yes, I am returning them, so I'm just going to put them over. I hope I'm not coming on screen. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm in a precarious situation here. <laughs> Books falling, and well, no, they haven't fallen yet, but they look like they're going to. Okay, <laughs> then I got book two of the Color by Number for Kids series, so I am looking forward to coloring this in. These are just um, very simple, childish, pixelated pictures, and for some reason I absolutely adore coloring <laughs> them in. So those are by Mew Press, in case you're looking for them. Um, can we do these ones yet? No, not yet. And then I got Tatiana Bogima's um, sampler book, we could call it. It's just called Adult Coloring Pages. And it has a picture of every book that she's published up to, I believe, um, Nice Little Town Number 8. So there are a number that aren't in this book. But, um, yeah, the majority of her stuff that is, I don't think she has published a book that is not a nice little town. She's done some deviations. She did the interiors, and she did the ABC town, which I have. But they are nice little town books. I don't think she's done anything that's not a nice little town book since this one was published, so... It's got stuff from her steampunk books, one called Magic Mask, Great Lions, Cute Girls, Halloween, all the nice little town books, Christmas and Easter. Uh, yeah, so it's got, does it say how many are in here? No, it doesn't say, but this is a thick book. Oh, cool. Oh, this is her book, what's it called, Nice Little Dragon? I've been wondering about that. Yeah, so um, I only have a couple of her books. I have um, Nice Little Towns, ABC, and I have the latest Nice Little Town, number 10. At least the last time I looked, that was the latest one. So there's lots of pictures from those in here. And uh, it's going to let me know which books of hers I want. And then we are coming to the end. So I'm trying to buy two. Um, I have to read her name to say it right. Olga Golovesh Kina books at a time. So I got mounts one. I have five and uh, four maybe. No, I don't have five and four because one of those is Christmas. I have two anyways, so there are five all together. This is the first one, and they're just pictures of animals with saddles, but um, they're often animals that you wouldn't expect to have a saddle, though this one is looking like they... Oh yeah, see? There's um, some kind of peacockish bird. Yeah, so we've got... Yeah, and there's, there's a griffin. Griffith. That's just a saddle. Yeah. So yeah, it's, um, it's got animals in here that you wouldn't consider being saddled, like a cat. And then I got Tatcha. Oops, sorry about that. I have to be more careful. It's not Tatiana. I got Tabitha Barnett's Sea Circles. I've, you know I only found her recently, and I'm trying to pick up stuff of hers regularly now, too, because I just adore her coloring. It's, you know, th this has a sea mandalas in it. I believe it's all mandalas. It's like the garden book 
where they all have pictures in them mostly. And they're mostly proper mandalas made up of animals. And I've done two out of the uh, other book that I got, Garden Circles. And they take a long time to do. And they look so simple, you know? Because it's just one thing repeated around. But, um, yeah, they, they take quite a bit of time to do. So I was, uh, I was pleased about that. So again, um, Tabitha it does, was that another Tabitha book that I explained this about? Oh yeah, her new one. So yeah, again, some of them are done on black paper. Let's see, she usually says. Okay, so there's a total of 48 pages, 35 are on white paper and 13 of those are on black paper. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do it this way. I have I have three more to show you, but one of them is a set of books. So this month I found, I discovered this art artist called Victoria Chacolina, and it looked like I will pretty much like all of her books. So I've... Uh, bookmarked her and going to be going through those. So anyway, she has these color by number mandala books. Most of her books are mandala and they're like this. They're for children, but a mandala, a simple mandala is for anyone. They're color by number. The backs, uh, instead of being blacked out, it has a picture on the back. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't appear to be showing up, but um, this doesn't curl the book. Look, it's completely straight. But also books don't curl if they're less than 50 pages, so if they're thin. And this is thin, so... But <laughs> I do want to say that if there's a picture on the back, and quite a detailed one like this, you're not going to get the curling that you get when you cover the whole page in a heavy, in a heavy uh, inking. So some of these are quite detailed. The only thing that I don't like is that the color palette is underneath the mandala. It would be much nicer if the color palette had been put over here, I think. Um, yeah, I would have preferred that. And uh, it's not the same color palette for every picture. It appears to use the same colors, but they're, di but they're numbered differently. Like one is different. So it starts off with simple ones, like here we go. There's a handful of these little simple ones. And then it gets into the more detailed one. And this is book two, color by number mandalas. And these look really um, a lot more detailed than the other ones are. So great if you want some color by number mandalas. Now this one here I'm going to return because it is done in a format that is too uh, simple for an adult to do. And they're done like this. They're full color books though and it's done on that glossy paper that um, Christine Karen and um, Her first name won't come to me. Oh, pff, it's Nikki. <laughs> I can't remember someone with my own name. Nikki Burnett. She uses this. And that uh, color by number book, uh, the circulism one, is done on this paper too. So, I don't know. That might make these fun to do. Nah, those are too simple. I'm going to return this one. So this was the one that's color by number for kids ages 3 to 5. And it most definitely is this one. It is a children's book. So you never know. Okay, then I got myself a couple of creepy books because it's fun to get new creepy books. So the first one I got is by an author I've been looking at, uh, sorry, an illustrator I've been looking at for a while. He does creepy books, or horror, let's say, because this is, this is downright horror. Um, Christopher Mark Stokes, he also does uh, 
<laughs> regular books. His uh, latest coloring book is Celtic Knots. So you can see the big difference in w what he does. So this is called Sinister Nightmares. Now it's, qu it's quite Zen. Well, I was going to say Zen doodly, but um, yeah, I guess it is. But the thing you have to remember is you don't have to color in every single one of those things if you don't want to. You can co I could color his pants all one color, and the pattern would be on his pants. But they're not all like that, and they are definitely um, creepy. I'm pretty sure there's some real horror ones in here, too. I like that. Yeah, I like a lot of these in here. Oh, they're zombies. <clears throat> Those are bordering on the gross. So, yeah, they're not too bad. You know, if wolf heads on spikes with blood <laughs> is okay for you. So, yeah, so glad I got that one. And then this one I saw on somebody else's channel, and I cannot remember who, but I'm going to take a sip. I am pretty sure, and if you know different, let me know down below and correct me, but I'm pretty sure I saw this on Anne Hatfield's channel. It's called Cemetery Picnic Coloring Book, Haunting Art by Sean Kama. And this is just fantastic for people who like creepy stuff. <laughs> they are simple pages. The art style kind of reminds me of White Stag, but it's much more detailed, though it's still quite simple. And it's all creepy. I love this. When you have simple pictures like this, you can kind of go wild with all your embellishments. Yeah, so that's great. And, folks, we have finally come to an end, and I cannot believe that this is over an hour. Oh, my goodness. It was just one of those months where, I don't know, I got a lot of good deals. Those Zen Doodle books are not expensive on Book Outlet. And my $3 books, and, well, a couple from my subscription, and, um... Yeah, it, uh, of course, a couple of those I ordered previously and received them this month. But, yes, so there we go. And that is them all, and I'm going to end this video because it is humongously large. So, next time I'll see you, I will be giving you my finished pages for the month, and you'll also need to have your drinks and snacks ready for that one as well because it's a doozy. So in the meantime, until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep coloring. Bye-bye.